Today's breaking Dallas Cowboys news is made possible by Magic Spoon, the best tasting healthy cereal out there on the market. You can get five bucks off your first serve a box or maybe four of them at magicspoon.com slash cowboys. So here is the breaking news then for the Dallas Cowboys. They've signed a kicker. No, it's not Cobra Kai Forbath. I know many of you might not like that one too much, but the Cowboys have brought in a former CFL kicker who they worked out today. That deal is now dumb. Liam, and we will do a full breakdown of the pronunciation for you guys too. It's Liram Hairulahu. This is a Kosovo-born Canadian kicker who agreed to a deal with Dallas today. This is now the fourth kicker or punter on the roster as Hunter Nicewander has an undisclosed issue. I don't really know what that is, but that's worth mentioning there. While Greg Zerline still on the physically unable to perform list, and there is a very good chance, if not the outright reality here, that Hyrulahu is going to be the kicker for this team's preseason game against the Texans coming up on Saturday. This move comes because the Cowboys have some concerns about their kicking situation right now, which we'll go more in depth into here in just a second and some more on Hyrulahu. But first, the pronunciation, because this one is not an easy name to break down. Here it is, and this is from himself in a previous interview he did. Hyru. Lahu, don't let the J confuse you. That's that's in there. I don't really know why. It, it, it's a trick. There's no J. Hairu Lahu is how you pronounce his name. Now, most recently with the CFL, the Hamilton Tiger Cats, Hairu Lahu was pretty good. Um, I don't watch the CFL. Uh, that isn't maybe a surprise to anyone. But he was decent enough on their version of extra points, 26 of 28. 85.5% on field goals, and has a pretty good leg. He was able to hit, hit, drill one from 56 yards. Now, again, the Kosovo-born CFL you know, and Canadian national, what is the phrase I'll use there, has bounced around the CFL. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers, the Toronto Argonauts, the Hamilton Tiger Cats, two years in each spot. He did then go to the LA Rams for the preseason, bounced around with the Panthers as well didn't actually play in a real NFL game. Now he's going to get an opportunity to get some reps in at least for the preseason. That Rams connection, by the way, didn't overlap with, with John Fossil, but I'm sure there is still some connection between Fossil and the old regime in charge there. So what is, or the new regime, I should say. So what is your one-word reaction to the Cowboys signing Hyrulahu, get your votes in for me right now in the comment section. One word and one word only. My one word is simple. That's concern. Because you don't add a kicker at this point in the offseason, or preseason I should say, unless there's something not right currently in your organization. Now, I hope that Greg Zerline is still on track. I hope that everything is fine. The Cowboys keep saying, oh, yeah, he's going to be out there. He's going to be good to go for week one. Still on the pup list. That is a bit of a red flag, at, at least for me. So I hope he's still on track. And what I hope this is, is that Hunter Nicewander has an issue. He's not going to be able to kick this week. So that will bring in somebody from that perspective. I hope that is the case. I don't trust the Cowboys with injuries very often. That is a bit of a red flag for me. As mentioned, today's show made possible by Magic Spoon. You can get $5 off your first order when you head over to magicspoon.com slash cowboys. There are some delicious flavors that are actually quite healthy for you. I love the frosted. It slaps in every sense of the word there. It's delicious. The fruity tastes just like Fruit Loops, but it's not going to, you know, rot your teeth and, you know, give you ca uh, cavities and all that good stuff there. I'm a peanut butter fiend. I love that one as well. They even brought back some old flavors that are now back for forever. The uh, maple waffle and cookies and cream, because who doesn't love cookies and cream? So get five bucks off your first order at magicspoon.com slash cowboys. That link, by the way, will be in both the comment section and in the description to make your lives just a little bit easier and save $5 off your first order box, or maybe four boxes if you want to have some fun with it. I do want to talk more about Greg Zerline here as well. Now, again, he is on the pup list 
off-season back surgery. He has been doing some kicking, and the Cowboys keep saying he's going to be good to go for week one. I am at least a little bit concerned that your kicker is still on the pup list with the second of the third, and really it's the third of the fourth for the Cowboys, but second of the three preseason games for the rest of the NFL. That's a bit of a red flag for me, and I think it should be for everyone watching. It's a kicker with a back issue. That's kind of a big deal. So, again, I hope that this is about Hunter Nicewander, who we'll get to more in depth here in just a second, but I would be lying if I didn't think that this was a, a, a potential issue for the Cowboys. Zerline was fine last year. He had a, a, a really two rough games. Really the only main problem is there for Greg the leg. This is very clearly the John Fossil guy. But he's still on the pup list. Yes, he's kicking. I, I've said, BB, you're fine with Dak Prescott. Don't be worried about that one. Amari and Tanker back. Zerline's not. That is is an issue that that does concern me of all the injuries right now for the Cowboys this is the one even though it's a kicker and you know how I feel about kickers and punters in general folks that I am a little bit concerned about so I am acknowledging this as a hey potential red flag here now I think the level of sign that the Cowboys made here is still indicative of a player that they're not that concerned about this is not a Kai Forbath who is a free agent by the way if you guys want to sign him but what's your panic level then over Greg Zerline? Get your votes in for me by rating it on a scale of 1 to 10. You can't be a 0. you got to at least be a 1. So get your votes in in the comments section. Let's go then to the other kicker, Hunter Nicewander, who is a, a punter really by trade, but I think Brian Anger is going to have that job. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Nicewander has been handling kickoffs and kicks for the Cowboys much better in the second game than the first one. There is an issue Mike McCarthy revealed and didn't go beyond that, so I don't know if, it, if it's personal, I don't know if it's, if it's an injury or, or what, but he has an issue. So my suspicion now, and I feel bad saying hope, but it's the reality of the situation as it relates to having a, a good football team this year, I hope that the reason for going out and signing a new kicker, Hiralahu, is that it's because of Hunter Nicewander and not Greg Zerline. If it's just Nicewander who tweaked his down know, back or whatever, okay, that's fine. He was probably just going to be your camp kicker slash punter anyway. If it's Zerline, that raises more concerns for the actual games that matter in the regular season. So as we sit right now, I'm not totally panicking about the kicker room. I, I do feel better that McCarthy said there is an issue for Nicewander. Had he not said that, I'd have been raising even more concerns about Greg Zerline, but clearly something is up with the kicking room because you would not have gone out and signed Hyra Lahu, even just for a game, if everything was sunshine and roses. That's not the case right now. Hopefully, it is just a Hunter Nicewander issue who I think in the end is probably you know winding down his at least season this year for the Cowboys because I think Brian Anger is your punter and if healthy, Greg Zerline ends up being your kicker as well. Now, Nicewander in week one of the preseason, or should I say the Hall of Fame game, disaster. Uh, I didn't want to see him kick anymore. He was way better, though, and I'll give him credit for it to, to kind of rebound in a very much a, a mental aspect of, of, a, a, of a situation. I think kicking is very, very mental. And Nice Wander was better. You know, drilled all three of his field goals. That was great sign right there. Still been a solid punter. I'd have been fine rolling it back with him as your punter this year. Adding Brian Anger makes that, I think, a little bit unlikely. But folks, this is why you guys subscribe. When Dallas makes a move, even for a kicker nobody's heard of, we break it down for you guys. So if you haven't already, do me a huge favor. Hit that big red button and subscribe because we got videos coming out every single day. And oh, by the way, another video that I had already filmed for you guys is coming out in the evening. Stick around for around 6 p.m. Central Time. Barring more chaos for that one later tonight. So again, the news here, the Cowboys have added a kicker, Liam uh, Hyrulahu. One note here, with this addition, the Cowboys are not done making moves. The Cowboys, after cutting five players on Tuesday, were cutting three and putting two on IR, 
The Cowboys have to make an additional move. They are now at these 86 men on the roster. That is one over the current 85-man roster. But as we film this right now, I don't know who that's going to be. You could try to IR stash somebody. You could release somebody. Maybe one of your backup linemen, Eric Smith. Maybe you wave injure Hunter Nicewander if he is indeed injured, which, again, I don't know if that's true of the case here. But another roster move is coming for the Cowboys. We'll just have to wait and see what that one is. So while we wait, make your predictions. What roster move will the Dallas Cowboys end up making next? Get your predictions in for me right now in the comments section.